lifetime we get to know many people and some people that we get to know we realize they're not living their faith they read the bible they might go to church every sunday but it's it's not working for them i've actually said this to some people and wanted to say it to a whole lot more you know when you have the woman in walmart screaming at the clerk and yet wearing a, a cross, you kind of want to just tap her on the shoulder and say, hey, your faith isn't working for you. Now, of course, you'd be decked if you did that, so you don't. But I actually, as minister, I said it to a member of my own congregation one time that was trying, struggling, but it wasn't working for her she she was miserable below the surface and we had a discussion one time and i said it's okay church shop you know you can be the best minister in the world but there will be some people that either love you or hate you and they don't know why there's just something where you're not able to reach them or the church isn't able to work, reach them. Well, then they need to seek a new way. Uh, spirituality are like spokes on a wheel, all leading to the one hub, God. And so I have been in ministry this long. I know the rest of the story on this, this person. They found a Catholic faith that worked for them, that spoke to their soul, and, and were great friends now. And, uh, and I just thank God that I was part of her journey in this, this way. Now, I wasn't kicking her out of the church. I was just simply giving her options, letting her know that it's okay. Many times... We don't live our faith. I was with a man in a car one time, and he was talking about how much he believed in the 55-mile-an-hour speed limit that was new at that time, the nationwide law. And he was saying this will change lives and how much he supported this. And we drove along, and as we were driving, oh, it was for an hour or so, I said to him, I said, Bob, I said, do you realize that all the time you were talking about this and afterwards, you have not been below 70 miles an hour and sometimes over 80? <laughs> and he just shrugged his shoulders. In Romans 14, 23, it says, if the way you live isn't consistent with what you believe, then it is wrong. It has been said, I don't care what a man believes, what a man says he believes with his lips. I want to know with great desire what he says with his life and his actions. Well, we must do our best and then make absolutely sure that our actions are reflections of our beliefs and bring those two into alignment. Our spirituality, it must manifest itself not only in our words, but more importantly, in our actions. In short, we should be practical people, quick to act upon the beliefs that we hold most dear and live by them. We can proclaim our beliefs to our heart's content but our proclamations will mean nothing to others or to ourselves unless we accompany our words with deeds that match in our life. The sermons that we live, ministers, are far more important and compelling than the ones that you preach. Well, like it or not, your life is a reflection of your creed. If this fact gives you a cause for concern. Don't bother talking about the changes that you intend to make. Start making them today, and your life will come into alignment 
and you'll be happier inside at a deep level. God bless you.